and they shall soon prostrate themselves before Alexia and I. Devoted to my beloved Alexia, Alfred Ashford. Exit! <laughs> okay, sorry. Resident Evil Code Veronica X. Welcome, I'm Kamara Tetsuo, and you're watching Death Counts, and we're back with more Resident Evil Code Veronica X. Lore appreciation run, and I know that we're quickly approaching the ending of disc one of the GameCube version of the game, because uh, Code Veronica X has uh, two discs on the GameCube version, so that's going to be happening on this video. Also, I apologize if I cough or anything during this video. I am sick. I had a headache for a couple of days, or yeah, about a couple of days, and it ends up being a fever instead of a headache. So I was pretty much sleeping all day, or I did go to work, but I was sit at home because I'm an idiot and they don't want me there. <laughs> so yeah, I'm here, and so I apologize if I do stupid stuff or more stupid stuff than usual. Anyways, I think I have an objective. I have both ant objects, and all I really need to do is head over to the Ashford Private Estate. So let's go ahead and do it. First, let's manage manage inventory here. And I finally got the crossbow, which is nice. Get rid of that. What do I have for healing here? Two greens, I'll just take that. And I will put this up. Should I take my grenade launcher? Huh. I'm not sure if I should take this or not, but I guess I'll take it. Thirty. You know, I have so many crossbow bolts that let me just put up my gun for now. And I will take explosive arrows just in case. I think I should be good. The explosive arrows are actually pretty good for. <clears throat> they're pretty powerful. I know they can kill zombies with one hit. Uh, I'm not sure if they're good for the for the snatchers though, or the the bander snatchers. But we're about to find out. So let me just rock with this for a while. Go ahead and heal. All better now. Click this. Okay, Claire. All right, Claire, we got this. We don't have the lighter. So hopefully, hopefully the bats aren't lollygagging in the private estate still. I hope not. It's going to be a pain in the ass. I've ever mentioned that this game is extremely dark. I'm actually when I when I go back and edit this in uh, in the Vegas Pro, I actually boost up the the brightness a little bit for you guys because man, sometimes I can't see anything, and I like it. You know, I like it that it's dark and that you're forced to use a lighter. But sometimes it's just a bit too much. <clears throat> so if I don't see an enemy and I, they grab me, oh, you know what? Let's just kill these guys. Let's see if. Um, I want to combine this. See how many it takes to kill one of these. Two? Wow, that one hit him? Why did anybody tell me to grab this thing from the beginning? Holy crap! That worked very well. Well, if I look at the bright side, at least I have a lot. I have a lot of ammo. Alright then. I'm alright with that. So I'm pretty much done with this whole Rock Fort Island thing for Claire anyways. Pretty much, okay. Am I going the wrong way? Bye. 
Oops, I think I'm going completely the wrong way. I actually think I need to go to the palace. Palace, the private residence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right. My bad. I'm going to blame the fever. I'm kind of just winging it here. It's not that high. It's about 101 degrees. 101.5 degree fever. It's pretty bad. <laughs> it's not danger levels, though, where I have to go to the hospital. Hopefully. Because I've been sleeping pretty much for... A good amount of hours. I do feel slightly better. Seeing Claire makes me feel better. Uh. Okay. So, sorry for wasting time. I do that a lot. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna go this way. Wait. My mind... My mind is fried. Is it upstairs? Might be upstairs. Might be right here. I hope this is the door. I think it is. All right, you stupid thing. Oh my god. Oh crap, I forgot. I forgot. Pressing the wrong buttons. Everything's everything wrong is happening. Uh combine this, yes. There we go, you stupid ass slapping bastard. No one's allowed to slap Claire's ass or chest or face. Okay. That's what they're called. Ass slapping bastards. Oh, hello, buddies. Hello, but classic Resident Evil. This is when you know you're going the right way, when they throw Everything in front of you. Okay, that guy's a pin cushion, and he still got up, and that missed. All right. All right. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Wow. It'd be a lot easier if you could just shoot him in the face, Claire. You stay down, Mr. Porcupine. I am not feeling well right now, and you guys are pissing me off. Okay. No problem. Dark. Very dark. Oh, hello, buddy. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ass slapping bastard. Two of them. Okay, there's two of them. No, oh, no, don't grab me. Oh, God. Ah, stupid camera angle. That was her missus. You're still alive. That guy is... That guy's dead. Where am I ending at? What am I on? Yellow caution. Oh, crap! Clear! Stay dead.
Can't see. Is there a guy up there? Oh, absolutely. Dude, those are in the face. Well, at least there's no bats. We'll have a lot of crossbow. Crossbow arrows or bolts. Probably better if I let go of my auto aim because. Sometimes you miss. There you go, that's better. Let's just clear this room out. I hear another zombie. Right here. Right, there's two of them. Yep, there's two of them. No, okay, I guess there was just one of them. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but these are obviously uh, Alfred and Alexia's rooms. They had a big fascination with dolls. And I never noticed this, that the window was broken here. Or the, the mirror was broken here. Because since, um, well, reasons. Sure, I'll take it. Go around. <clears throat> Go to the Alfred's room. He has no mirror. I remember Chris having to do this too. I don't remember a lot about what Chris does. It's been a long time since I played this. Like I said, uh, I think the last time I played this was on the PS2. So whenever that was. I remember correctly, there was a, uh, like a carousel up here or something. I don't think there's enemies. There better not be bats! There is a wooden horse. It is a gorgeous work. It is very woody. A picture of an ad is drawn on the wall. It appears that the keyhole is the mouth part. There's nothing useful, just creepy ass dolls. There's a wardrobe. It will take you to Narnia. A telescope. Probably a scene from a fairy tale. There seems to be nothing strange about it. Oh. Okay. What's this? A dragonfly? Take the silver dragonfly. Yes, I will. Lock. Another wardrobe. A green herb. Nah, I won't use it yet. Maybe I'll find a red one. 
Probably a scene from a fairy tale. There seems to be nothing strange about it. Piano. Ah. Uh, Oh yeah, the dragonfly. Okay, okay. Let's see here. <clears throat> uh, it's designed so its wings can be detached. Yes. Dragonfly wings have been detached. Let's just put it in here. Something about dragonflies being eaten by ants. Might be wrong, but isn't this the first time this OST is playing this music? Oh, what did that do exactly? A ladder. Aha! Okay, ink ribbon. Don't need it. All right. The Annabelle doll. Fantastic. That's where it's been the whole time. A library of chemistry, books, and encyclopedias. Pictures! Newspaper clip. Never mind. A 10-year-old girl, genius, graduated at the top of her class from a prestigious university. The International Corporation Umbrella Chemical Incorporated offered her the position of head researcher. I believe she was like 15 or something like that. Might be wrong on that age, but I know she was young. Various gadgets, there's nothing useful. Insect specimens are neatly displayed. Library con compendiums are stored. I need to push this uh, this way. Yeah. Confession letter. Alexia, my sister. Oh wait, this is Alfred. Alexia, my sister, is a genius and possesses unmatched beauty. She is everything to me. I would overcome any obstacle and be willing to risk my life for her. For Alexia, I must revive the glorious Ashford family which fell during the era of my father, Alexander. Together, we will restore our family name. Once that has been achieved, I'll build a palace where only nobles may gather. <laughs> I cannot allow the unwashed to see my dear Alexia, to whom my life is devoted to. She reigns the world as queen, with I as her servant. That is my dream and how sweet it will be. Those accomplishments will be the proof of my love towards Alexia. It is the purpose of my existence. All other people are meaningless, and they shall soon prostrate themselves before Alexia and I. Devoted to my beloved Alexia, Alfred Ashford. Exit! <laughs> okay, sorry. He really loves his sister, doesn't he? Really loves her. Like, a lot. A little too much. Probably a little too much. I know twins have like a special bonding and everything, but maybe that's just a little too much. Something on the floor? Holy crap. I barely saw this. Alright, so I got the thing. I got the thing. That means now I need to go... Is that it? I think now I just need to go to the uh, the plane, right? Huh. Can't remember. Oh, no, no, no. Don't need to go around. Take the ladder. Get out of here. Oh, my head. Okay, I'm fine. What I am thinking right now is absolutely nothing. No thoughts are going running through my mind right now. Not for sure a cutscene happened here, but I guess not. Oh, okay. Blair Redfield, hold it right there. 
We meet each other at last. A pity I must say goodbye so soon. I am Alexia Ashford. For the pride of the Ashford family, I will kill you. I think he sucks at shooting. Or she, sorry. Sorry, she. Wait! What's going on? Are you okay? I'm fine. It's just a scratch. <laughs> the music. Very intense. Man, Alexia and Steve both suck at shooting. Steve seems to be uneasy. I better check this room. Alexia's dress is abandoned here. She is running around in the nude? Where is she? Where is she? This must be... What? No! Wait a second. What just happened? So there never was an Alexia after all. You mean he thinks he's two people? Okay, that's it. Let's get out of here. Okay. What? That's what makes you want to get out of here, Steve? That freak. He's trying to blow us up along with the entire facility. Never mind the zombies and the BLWs and the explosions and the fire. No. Alfred dressing up as his sister was the last straw for Steve. That's it. Let's get out of here. Okay. Air Force Boot. So I have. I need to get all these things. I'm going to just use this right now. I need to go back to the palace and grab all my stuff. see very dark oh I was like I hope the door's right here I'm just mashing the X button or <laughs> the accept button that hurt me by the way it might have I'm back at the palace This is where they would have their umbrella meetings and stuff like that with the executives. I don't need to save. I feel very confident of not dying. So I need... I need this, and I need... This? Okay. And then I need... I suppose I'll take a healing item. Okay, it's already three. Uh, oops. Right. 
That sh should be good. I'm gonna stick with grenade rounds since I have so many of them. I'm not 100% familiar on what grenades go good against which enemies here. I do know RE2 is like you use acid rounds for liquors, flame rounds for the IV BOWs, Plant 42 or sorry, Plant 43s or whatever. I know that. But I'm not so familiar here. I'll just stick with grenade rounds. Squee! Clear! We'd better get out of here too. Right. Let's go. How the hell are there survivors? The self-destruct system has been It's not good news for them because they were obviously infected. When the island was attacked, the T virus was just it's just leaked all over, so if you didn't have a uh, biohazard suit, you're screwed. The self-destruct system has We do, Steve. This game has so many self-destruct sequences, it's crazy. Everything's on autopilot right now. The self-destruct system has been activated. All personnel evacuate immediately. Steve, wait up, you very smart, intelligent man. Has been activated. I like this room a lot. I don't know why. There's something about like rooms in Resident Evil games that like there's a lot of stuff that's happening around you. Oh, what the hell? Uh, which way do I need to go? No, not file! I need to go... Oh, crap! Ah! What the hell?! Nice miss, Claire. And you miss so easily with this weapon. I just have to keep doing this. Drop my aim, auto aim. I like the way you assume that I have these. I like the way you assume that. That's a Harrier. Oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot. Take off unless we raise the bridge. Leave that to me. 
You stay here and make preparations for takeoff. Okay. Yeah. All right, Steve. Claire is putting your full her full faith in you. She is assuming that you know exactly what you're doing and that you're not just pressing buttons. Assuming. Better not self-destruct this plane, Steve. Make Steve's proud because my name is Steve also. So I got this handle thingy. Control lever. Uh, it seems to have been removed from a control panel. Yeah, this goes on the opposite side. I need to go back around. Killed all the zombies, so they shouldn't be an issue. Should be a big bridge. Steve's in there, pressing buttons. Look here. What is this door again? Control panel for the shutter. K402. Okay. I don't remember if that's a Chris thing or... Why? Yeah, this. Raise the lever! Dead people here. Take the airport key. Yes, I will take the airport. Let's get out of here. Those guys were definitely like trapped and then eaten alive. This device controls the bridge's oil pressure. I guess I should read this, right? Oh, it's the K402. Alright, alright, alright. <gasps> oh, that's right. I need to go all the way around the island because I just can't go back to the plane. Mmm. What does it say if I try to lower that bridge? I don't think it lets me. Should I operate this now? Yeah. in here. Okay. Item box. Uh, herbs. I give you a lot of healing items. Combine them. Handgun ammo. Grenade rounds. Uh 
push this in. Over here. Push this one this way, I think. Yes. Alright. Push it in. A little bit more. This device controls the room's air conditioning. Five minutes. Oh crap. Until detonation. Oh crap. Okay, now I just need to hurry my ass up. Run through the whole island. Not the whole island, but most of it. Where am I? I'm in a big ass elevator. I will not allow you fools to escape. This is what you get for trying to oppose me. Now feel my revenge. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, what did that say? T103? Guess what, Claire? You're gonna have to fight another Mr. X. Except this one's modified. I don't think he's very happy about that modification. Actually, he probably would be. Instead of instead of punching you with his hand, he has like freaking spikes all over it. Like hitting you with a mace. Mr. X 2.0 crap. It's not a Resident Evil game until you fight one of these things. So the Ashford family somehow got a hold of Okay, I know I need this. I know I need this. Um, I should be fine, I think. But yeah, they happened to get their hands on one of these because, well, this was the mass produced one. Big. Oh God. Okay. All right, he's down. He's not out though. There's no way that took him out. T103s are very durable bastards. They take a lot of damage. Have plenty of time. I don't recall him coming out again. I hope not. You better not. <laughs> yes, climb down the ladder. Pull the lever! Got plenty of time. Plenty of time. I need to make a left. Alright, Steve. Better have the plane all prepped now. Sorry, Claire! 
I have no idea what I'm doing! <laughs> Damn it, Steve! Now, Steve's smart. He's an intelligent guy. He knows exactly what's up. Long. I was starting to get worried. No Stop time to explain. Stop. Let's go. Right. We're out of here. Time to say goodbye to this death trap. Staying very awkwardly. Claire, I'm sorry. I know I caused a lot of trouble for you. No, it's okay. It was hard for both of us. Well, I really hope you find your brother. I... I know what it's like to be alone. Oh, Steve. <laughs> I forgot how old Claire was in this game. Is she so, either 19 or 20? Where should I think? we go now? I can take you anywhere you want to go. Claire. No, she's young. <laughs> I hear Hawaii is nice this time of year. You got it. they remake this game eventually. I think this game deserves a remake because it's a little this rougher on the edges no on some stuff. Yet. There's a lot of backtracking. Now I mean, I'm an idiot, so I... There's the Harrier. Holy crap. So the cool thing about the Harrier jet is that it doesn't need a runway. It can literally just go straight up. That's what's cool about them. Except they're extremely hard to pilot. You need to be a very good pilot. the deal with the cargo room patch is open i'll go back and check it out thanks so in case you don't know what this is this is door. mr air this is the tyrant 103 i don't know how they're able to jump five miles into the air because the exact same thing happens on resident evil survivor with Ark thompson the t103 tyrant just jumps up and grabs uh grabs your chopper it's crazy So there is a trick to this fight, and that is to use, uh, I know I have it because I was saving it, this, BLW gas rounds. So I don't think I talked about this in my past video, but what it says. these anti-BLW gas bullets are filled with gas. So it doesn't explain on this game, but this is actually the same gas that you find in RE2 original. Uh, the classic Resident Evil 2, when you're Leon, you activate like this BLW gas, and it's green. And it says that this BLW gas actually is used to kill uh, BLWs, but if they're prolonged, if they're exposed to the gas for a, a long period of time and they're not dead, they don't die from it, they actually mutate and become worse. So yeah, this is pretty much the same stuff, and this stuff is very deadly, it can kill you too. rounds. I don't like the way the flame rounds are just so... I mean, the, the, the regular grenades, they don't have a long uh, trajectory. They fall pretty, pretty fast. Huh. Hmm. 
I'm gonna take an extra healing just in case. Let me try out the acid runs. Let me see how far they go. Okay. All right. I hope I don't die. You need to be very careful with tyrants because they can one hit kill you sometimes. They're known to do that. At least he's not a super tyrant. Okay. Let's play, Mr. X 2.0. Materials preparation complete. Catapult ready. Oh, God. Did he hit me? Oh! Oh, God! Let's just do this right now. Let's just do this right now. He's too close. And I did nothing. No matter what, Claire, do not miss. For the love of God, do not miss. really suck this is the catapult launching device the launcher is being prepared well prepare harder damn it he's really hurt oh god it's ready it's ready it's ready okay by that clear oh my god you're a big dickhead oh my god you're a big dickhead That went extremely rough. I know there's an easy way to kill him. All you do is hit him with those three BLW rounds and then you just shoot him a little bit. And then you launch him. And that kills him. But I didn't want to just kill him like that. It's tightly sealed. I can't open it. So yeah, he's a he could be a problem for anybody that uh, doesn't know how to fight him. Because, I mean, I almost died. He'll hit you with like a powerful attack and he stun locks you and then by the time you get up he hits you again. And then you're dead. What was wrong? Oh nothing. Just a giant cockroach that had to be stepped on. <laughs> what Steve, what did you do? I don't know. The plane just changed direction on its own. It's flying in autopilot mode. I can't switch over to manual control. My apologies, but I cannot let you escape now. Oh. <laughs> Alfred, cross-dressing freak. Whoa, Claire. Everyone can dress up the way they want to, all right, Claire? Oh. <laughs> Jesus. have been flying for a while. Steve, don't look at her boobs. I see you looking at her boobs. Steve? Hey? Hey? 
That actually hurts my head. Ow. Damn it, I was gonna rape her. Steve, please. Hey, where are we? I'm actually curious what would have happened. Huh? Claire probably would have slapped him. 82.17 degrees. Oh, she definitely would have slept. That's the Antarctic. We're over the Antarctic. What? Hey, those are the seaplanes that left the island right before us. Then that must mean this place belongs to Umbrella. Oh yeah, it definitely does. Well, those planes crashed too. So this facility was actually abandoned a while back ago. It was built by Edward Ashford. Or well, he commissioned the building of this this base, this umbrella base. Because this base was built way back when Umbrella first uh is first say first half in data, yes, of course. Uh that base was built uh when Umbrella was pretty much established back back in the late 1960s, maybe 1970s when it was built. I'm not 100 percent sure there, but it was built way back in the day, and that's where Edward Ashford which is one of the founders of Umbrella. Uh, that's where he would actually do experiments on, uh, or he would uh, mess with the T-virus because everybody in Umbrella was trying to make uh, a better t Or he was messing with the progenitor virus, actually, I believe. He was trying to make a, a upgraded version of the progenitor virus into a T-virus. Of course, James Marcus, which is the other founder of Umbrella, he's the one that ended up making the... Uh, the virus, the T-virus, technically speaking. William Birkins ends up taking all the credit for it. But, yeah, and then once Edward died, Alexander took over, but Alexander, he wasn't good. He, Alexander wasn't good at making, uh, messing with viral, uh, viral, uh, manipulation, I guess, or he wasn't good with messing with stuff like that, with viruses. He was more into genetics which leads to certain twins uh yeah so press the open button to open the disc cover and replace game disc one with aim disc two after you have exchanged the game disc close the disc cover so i'm gonna end it right there uh i want to keep going i wanted to beat claire's all in this part but i have a bad headache it got it got bad again uh my flu or not my flu my fever still there so i'm gonna go back to sleep after i edit this so thank you so much for watching i still plan on streaming i'm gonna be streaming here on friday <coughs> excuse me friday night maybe streaming some grand blue fantasy and then we'll continue on with uh resident evil code veronica because man i'm taking too long to finish this game it's ridiculous i apologize for that but anyways thank you so much for watching i'm Kamal tetsuo you just watched the death count video and like always rock on